This our tip video is a creature spotlight on the group of insects called beetles. Beetles are a group of insects that form an order called Coleoptera, which is also the largest of all the insect orders, with 400,000 known species. Here is a label diagram of a gold beetle. Found in Costa Rica and Panama, this bug looks like living metallic gold. All beetles have the same body parts and basic overall anatomy, as shown in the label diagram. They have two main core body shapes, a long thin oval or a shorter more circular oval. Really look at the proportions and core shapes before you build up any details when you are drawing a beetle. They range from minute, such as the smallest known, Skydocella, Musa wasinus, at 0.325 millimeters long and best viewed under a microscope. They are also known as the smallest free-moving, non-parasitic insect. The largest beetles are the goliath beetles and weigh sometimes over 50 grams. The longest beetles are Hercules beetles at 16.7 centimeters or 6.6 inches. Goliath beetles are also the largest of all insects by weight and all kind of sizes between these two extremes exist. Beetles range widely in habitat, living in almost every possible climate or terrain, both land and water. The colorations vary to extreme, from dull and camouflaged, to shiny black, pastel and soft, covered in dots or hair-like growths, or to brilliant, shiny and metallic, looking like living jewelry, and more. It can be argued that they have the largest color and patterning range of all animals. The diets also vary a lot. Beetles fill in important ecological niches, especially the one for eating dung, as beetles, particularly of the scarab family, are the main animals that directly eat the dung of much larger creatures. Different individual species are members of smaller families, which often have similar body plans and diets, such as ground beetles being active predators with sharp blade-like mouth parts with for pincing and cutting their prey. Weevils, like the one previously shown, tend to all be herbivorous and are often considered to be pests by farmers and gardeners alike. And jewel beetles have their larvae grow up in the wood of deciduous trees and are native to India and Southeast Asia. Only the males of the stag beetle have the iconic enlarged mandibles for fighting over females. The females have smaller ones more similar to ground beetles. The larvae of the stag beetle develop slowly over four to six years, particularly in oak stumps. Longhorn beetles are actually a family of beetles. Like this example here, they have the longest antenna of all the beetles, and there are even more extreme members of the family than this example. Onimacris, meanwhile, is a desert-dwelling beetle from southwestern Africa. The white of its shell is to repel sunlight to help prevent overheating. The former beetle is a long-armed scarab beetle. The males use their enlarged arms for fights. The females actually have smaller forearms. The jewel frog beetle develops inside vines in Southeast Asia. This is a prized pet or collectible beetle, which is often kept in captivity by owners. The mysterious final species shown here is from a public domain image I found. I'm not sure of its exact species, but it was just too cool for me not to include. To me, it appears to be an active predator that probably uses those enlarged stag beetle-like mandibles to fight for mates, but I can't be certain, as I'm not actually certain what species this is, but it was just too cool looking not to include. Digitally painted in Procreate, I used the symmetry feature in order to paint these beetles directly copied from above and allow everything I painted in one stroke to be duplicated on the opposite side. As beetles have perfect symmetry, this is quite a useful feature in Procreate. I also used separate layers and was able to alpha lock layers to quickly paint over only the areas that already laid down color. So where the black line art was, I could easily change it to a color. Or if I only wanted to add details and coloring and shading onto where I put down the flat color for the body. This is the flight wings of a beetle. They fold very well and they bend easily. Very quickly they extend and are actually what's used to fly. The front pair of the wings are also called an elytra, which is the shell. It's a hardened, open and closable pair of front wings, which are able to reveal those hidden flight wings underneath. They fold up protected in the shell when the beetle is not flying, and they extend easily whenever the beetle needs it. This is a feature distinct to the beetle family and that is present in all the beetles, although there are a few flightless beetles whose shell remains sealed shut. 
I used separate layers to paint this ladybug with the wings extended so that I did the body on an underneath layer and then the shells on top and beneath that layer with the plants. I also went over this on a layer on top to do a line art version, which I was also going to be using for my art tip page. Well, I wasn't able to finish the new animation in time due to getting sick, but I'm still working on it and hope that next week's video will have the brand new animation opening. I hope that you consider following me on Instagram where I post art daily and that you look forward to next Wednesday's new art video. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.